I am Sorrow Lepus. Since I am known from the late Silurian and early Devonian, I am one of the most primitive bony fish. Since I have so many transitional features, such as a clythrum similar to that of the placoderms, the pectoral girdle bones like placoderms, a large fin spine on my back like sharks and acanthodians, and a number of features which are linked to more primitive groups of fish, I am a transitional form showing how the bony fish gradually evolved. But also, I seem to be at the base of the Sarcopterygian lineage, the lobe fin fish. Not all bony fish have fins like the ray fin fish, which are made of cartilaginous rays. Some, called the Sarcopterygians, have bones within their fins, and thus the muscles inside their fins can move these bones at joints. So I and one of the first Sarcopterygian fish giving evidence to their early evolution in the history of the bony fish. I am Kenicthes, yo, and so many of the other fish have two nostrils, but both of them open out onto like the side of the face. But I thought it would be cool if I moved the second nostril, a posterior nostril, instead of being an opening on my face to make it say at the jawline. I understand that later Sarcopterygian fish took this a step further and moved the posterior nostril to the roof of the mouth. Thus, when they took air in through their anterior nostril at the tip of the snout, it actually came in their mouth and could then go to the throat, allowing them to breathe through their nose. Now, that was a great ability, but it started with me and the migration of this second nostril. Pretty cool, yo. I am an ancestral lungfish. Now, many fish can breathe oxygen from the air using a variety of structures. And early in the history of bony fish, a swim bladder evolved which could then take oxygen from the air. Lots of the early bony fish have swim bladders and including some primitive lineages today still retain this. But in the ancestors of the lungfish, this one single bag was split into two separate bags and the blood vessels going to them increased. So this turned the swim bladder into a pair of lungs. And so the primitive Sarcopterygians could not only breathe air, but they also had true lungs which allowed them to do so efficiently, as do the modern lungfish today.